lawmakers pushing for tougher punishment for e-scooter riders who are breaking the law. All right, and as Sharon Crowley tells us, advocates are calling for the NYPD to do more when it comes to enforcing the rules that are already on the books. If you hurt someone with a scooter and you flee the scene, you should be punished. Local lawmakers calling for tougher laws for riders of e-scooters who leave the scene of an accident. New York State Senator Brad Hoyleman and Assemblymember Linda Rosenthal support a bill that would increase the penalties against unlawful e-scooter riders from six months to four years. And it's really about time that we take back the streets for those who are using it lawfully. They gathered at the intersection of West 64th and Amsterdam Avenue where actress Lisa Baines was hit by an electric scooter or motorcycle and the driver left the scene. Baines died of her injuries. A friend joined the group to lend his support for these new laws. Lisa was so loved. She is an absolute angel. Transportation Alternatives keeps track of traffic fatalities. New York City, they say, is on track to have the deadliest year for traffic fatalities since Vision Zero was implemented. They would like to see police do more when it comes to enforcement. And it's not just city streets, but Central Park can also be dangerous for pedestrians sharing the road with bikes. Park is always crowded with lots of people, some of whom are not paying attention, some of whom are, and hopefully we all get through the day without hurting each other. Really, to be honest, my head is on a swivel. So I'm, you know, I, I look all over. I don't take anything for granted. People are riding on the paths where they shouldn't be. The signs all over the place, but they still do it anyway. Lawmakers focusing on pedestrian safety just as the city begins to reopen after COVID and the streets and parks get more and more crowded. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News.